Kelly with the tight spot quivers. Kelly's got some awesome quivers, we all know, but we got a little bit of new stuff for this year. Kelly, what do we got going on? You know, this year, Paul, we uh, we actually came out with a new quiver that we're calling the Rise. Uh, it's four and a half inches shorter than our three, five, and seven arrow models. Uh, it comes standard with the secondary gripper, a loop on the hood. This quiver is really designed and aimed around the tree stand hunting guys that are out there. We realized that in the past uh, we've done, you know, we've kind of catered more to the western crowd. Now we're trying to cross that over and come across to the tree stand crowd and help you guys out as well. So. Uh, that's kind of what we're doing new as far as function this year on the behalf of Tight Spot. We got some new colors up here that we'll see here in just a minute up on the display. Um, and all that's available in this as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we do have less colors available in the Rise until right. we kind of see what everybody's wanting to do this right. year. But we're starting out with six colors. We've got it in black. Uh, some Alpine Elevate 2. Uh, we're doing it in a few of the other new colors available. Yeah. A couple things that catch, catches my attention, like you said, is shorter. But tell me a little bit about the difference of this that makes it more applicable to the tree stand hunter. You know, honestly, just length overall. Uh, for years, we've had guys that have said, we like your quiver, but we want to see something that's a little bit shorter. We don't need it to be so long uh, to create stability on the bow if we're hanging it in the tree. Right. And then you also have the hook on top for the tree stand gun as well. That's correct. Now, uh, I've got something pretty cool in my hand as well. And this is, uh, tell me a little bit about this and how it mounts on it. So this is a tree stand bracket that we came up with a couple of years ago. It's just a simple bracket. It's got a screw in the back, pops out clips onto the quiver, it can be shot that way, mounted that way, it doesn't ever have to leave your boat. Right. So, guy doesn't leave it in his backpack, in the truck, in his pocket, you know, wherever. As far as mounting goes, it literally just screws into the tree and then clips onto the carbon rods of the quiver. It's a quick on, quick off kind of a process. That way a guy's got a firm hold. When you're sitting in your stand, if you want your arrows mounted down next to you, above you, wherever it's handy, right. you can situate them exactly where you want them to be. If you need to grab for another Get arrow, for second shot you don't have a dangling quiver. It's not wanting to fall to the ground. That thing is solid and sitting in place. You grab an arrow, knock it up, and let's roll. That's pretty cool. Well, it's a definitely a good looking quiver, uh, compact and everything. You added, tell me about the addition of the extra uh, stabilization. So the secondary gripper that we came up with with last year uh, actually was not designed for this quiver. We, we came up with it for our five and seven arrow quivers. It can be mounted to any of our five or seven arrow quivers, but it does come standard on the new rise. It does allow any shaft size to be used inside of there, whether it's a micro diameter, whether it's a standard 246, anything in between. So it'll kind of cater to anything that a guy is using. It works very well for the guys that are using an uh, expandable broadhead. Right especially something with a very small tip uh, up inside the hood of the quiver. It just gives that little bit of extra insurance that things are staying in place uh, for the guys that are shooting a small tip to uh, expandable broadhead. It's not moving around up in the hood. It's, it, everything's locked in and staying put. Keeps things very quiet. Awesome. Well, what kind of uh, what kind of price and what kind of time frame are we looking at? So as far as the rise, it's shipping now. Everything is available through us. Uh, we're your local tight spot dealer. Price wise, these are mapped out at one fifty four ninety five, okay. and so uh, we we've already seen a pretty good number of these go out the door. Guys are using them, and we're getting really good feedback on them. Awesome. So awesome, perfect. So if somebody wants to check these uh, new tight spot quivers out and the ones that you've had for years, uh, where's somebody going to look at? Go check out your local tight spot dealer. Tell your dealer he needs to have them available. Or come check us out at tightspotquiver.com. Give us a call on the phone. Joe and I would be happy to talk to anybody about it and tell them what they need to know. Help them out in any way that we can, even if that's directing you to a dealer. We're happy to do that. All right. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Thank